Hello, my name is Ryan Chatterson. I've been growing fish and vegetables aquaponically for over seven years and have been working in aquatic ecosystems for almost as long. I currently maintain and operate the community system we have located behind our main facility in Apopka, Florida. We primarily use this as a teaching tool to demonstrate key principles and technologies at our design workshops, as well as a way to offer fresh, nutritious vegetables to the employees here at the company. Our system is based off of the University of Virgin Islands system, which has been researched and in operation for over 20 years. Uh, in this video, we're going to take you through the system, give you an idea of how it works, and then we'll take you out to the plant portion to show you a variety of plants we are capable of producing in this system. We're going to start with the highest point in the system first, which is the fish tanks. Uh, from here, we use gravity to drive the water through all of the filtration system, through the plant troughs, and finally into the sump, which is the lowest point in the system. We chose four 800-gallon tanks for this, and we have them stocked with koi, which produce the nutrients needed to feed the plants. Now, due to space concerns behind our facility here in Apopka, uh, we only have these lightly stocked with koi. If we were to stock all four tanks to full capacity, we could actually expand our current growing area to six times what it is. From here, the water is going to exit via a bottom drain and move over to the first portion of our filtration system, the swirl separator. Now, in the swirl separator, the water is going to enter the bottom side of the filter. And that creates a circular flow in the filter, which drives the solids towards the center. Now, underground, there's a conical base that we have buried, and we have it fitted with a ball valve for a quick and easy evacuation of any of the solids captured in the filter. The water, clean water is going to exit the top of the swirl separator and travel to the next portion of our filtration system. Now, in this portion of the filtration system, we basically have our filter tank stacked full of easy to clean filter mats. The water is going to enter the bottom sidewall of the tank, travel up through a PVC pipe, and then overflow so the water has to drive back down through the filter pads. This portion removes most of the semi-solids left in the water column, and the cleaner water is delivered through the bottom sidewall of the tank into the last portion of our filtration system, the static upflow filter. Now, in the static upflow filter, again, the water enters the bottom sidewall of the tank and flows upwards through a static bed of biomedia. This captures almost all of the suspended solids left in the water column, and the clean water exits via a screen standpipe. From there, both sides collect into a central degassing tank. The water runs out to the end of our plant troughs, flows through the plant troughs, and again, collects at the lowest point in the system, our sump. From here, the water is picked up by a low wattage pump and recirculated back up to our fish tanks. At our technology and design workshops, we will show you how to design, manage, and operate an aquaponic system. We will also demonstrate various technologies and show you how to build your aquaponic system to scale. For more information, please contact us at ponics at aquaticeco.com or visit us on our Facebook page. Thank you. All right, so in this portion we're going to show you our plant growing troughs. Uh, we have four troughs that are 24 feet by 4 feet wide, uh, and we're growing everything from tomatoes to squash to bush beans, bok choy, strawberries, dragon fruit. We've got a wide variety of vegetables. Uh, as you can see behind me, the snow peas are over 6 feet tall. Uh, they're growing uh, very fast. We average about half a pound a day just off of the vines we've got uh, growing behind me. Um, we we'll do a couple uh, in-depth shots here of the actual vegetables we're growing to give you a little more hands-on, uh, uh, better idea of what we're growing here. We'd like to thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you at one of our upcoming workshops.